Happy Friday, guys. I wanted to jump on here real quick just to show you guys what I have discovered. Uh, I figured out that you can use chalk paint on your gel plate. So that's what I'm going to be demoing right now. Uh, this is the bottom of the barrel that I have of this. Uh, this is Hello Hobby Chalk Paint and Swan White. I got this from Walmart. All of these paints that I'm using were purchased at Walmart. Uh, and I'm just going to be using some lighter colors. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to first lay a stencil down. And this is a Waverly stencil, and this also was purchased at Walmart. Let's just place it on here like so. Okay, doesn't have to be in the middle, because these papers are going to eventually get cut up anyway. And it doesn't look like I'm going to get anything out of that, so we'll just use the gray that I have. This is Waverly Chalk Paint and Silver Lining. And these paints, I'm just pressing my stencil down a little bit. These paints are older. I've had them for quite a while. So they're thicker. But honestly, for what I'm doing, I don't really mind because it's just going to give added texture. Okay. So now I'm going to take my brayer and I'm going to start working this onto the plate. And then I'm going to go, I go up and down and back and forth just to try to get it in all of those crevices. And you're going to get numerous prints that you can use just from this one technique. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to take a sheet of paper and pull the print directly from the gel plate. <clears throat> Let me just make a little space here. I'm going to put a sheet of paper over here. And I'm going to pull my stencil off. and go directly over here to this page. And then I'm gonna take the brayer and roll that on there as well, just to get a nice print and get as much paint off as I can. I'm gonna pull that. And I'm gonna immediately go wash my stencil. Okay, stencils washed, and as you can see, this is still really wet. The paint is pretty thick on there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pull another print from it just to get some of that paint off to increase the drying time. I'm just going to rub this a little bit. I'm not pressing down really hard, and I'm just going to lift it up, and there we have another one. Okay, now in the meantime, while this is drying, and I do have an overhead fan on, by the way, uh, I'm sure you guys can probably hear it, but that does help increase the drying time. Also, if you're really impatient, like I tend to be, I also have like a little handheld fan that I'll use sometimes. So what I'm going to do with the print over here that I used to clean my stencil off before I washed it. Um, I am just going to take, I have some Lindy's uh, Magical Shakers, and this one is Time Travel Teal, because it goes with the colors that I'm using. I'm just going to sprinkle a little on here. I'm going to take my brush, and I've just got a bigger mop brush that I'm using, and my spray bottle, 
and I'm going to lightly add some water to this color, trying not to splatter it everywhere. And I'm just going to move the color around. And this chalk paint will act as a resist. And so when this completely dries, you'll be able to see all this beautiful color and it will have some shimmer as well. This takes a little longer to dry, of course, because you do wet it down quite a bit actually. And I'm not looking for perfect coverage because I do really like the grungy look. Okay. So I'm going to leave this like this and set it away to dry. Can you guys see that? How beautiful that is? Okay. I wanted to show you guys real quick before we move on. Here is one that I had done earlier today. Uh, I used the white, it was like swan white chalk paint. And I also laid down some of this light beige. And I actually got this at Dollar General. And then I just made marks in it, circles and lines and whatever. And then this was a print that I pulled from the jelly plate just to clean off some of the paint so it wasn't so thick. And then I laid down that uh, Lindy's shaker on there and moved it around. And as you can see, it looks like the blue is on the bottom and the paint is on the top. But in reality, it's reversed because that chalk paint acts like a resist. So this is not completely dry yet. I'm sure the blue is going to be lighter, but I'm still really pleased with the effect that it has. Okay, so now this is completely dry. Just always touch it all over and make sure, not that I could tell because my fingers are covered in paint already, but anyway. So I'm going to use some Apple Barrel Caribbean and this is just acrylic paint. And again, just brayer it off and then we're gonna get our paper laid down for the master print. First I rub it with my hand, and then I come back in with the brayer. It gets it down better and it's easier on my hand. If you don't want to use as many strokes, you can also use a rolling pin or a hard aluminum foil, cardboard roll, or whatever you have handy. Okay, and now is the hardest part, we wait. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes now, and this is not completely dry, but it is dry enough. I'm going to go ahead and pull this print, and if it does leave some behind, that's okay, because the look I'm going for is like an old world look. I'm looking for grungy textured goodness. And I do pull it really slow. Okay, we still got a really good print. It did want to come up a little bit there, but what I did when it does that to me, I just stop 
put the paper back down a little bit and then pull from the opposite side. And I really love this. I love these colors together. It looks like an old tile. And it's going to be beautiful for the project that I'm going to be doing. And there you have it, you guys. So I hope this has inspired you to play with your jelly plate and try out some chalk paints with it. They really do the trick when you're looking for lots of texture. I hope you have a wonderful Friday, a wonderful weekend, and I will see you guys in the next video.